So, Pope Francis has just consecrated Russia and the Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And you're wondering, okay, what do I do about this? Maybe you're somebody who thinks the consecration didn't fulfill Our Lady's requests. Maybe you're somebody like me who thinks it does. Either way, we should all be at our first Saturday devotions. If we're going to bring on the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, we're going to have to pray our first Saturdays no matter what. So, how do we fulfill our first Saturday devotions? And more importantly, how do we do it with a busy schedule? You've got children, you've got a job with crazy hours. Maybe you're a farmer, maybe you, I don't know, maybe you've got a lot of dogs and it's just hard to find times to get away from your home for that long. Here is how to do it in just one hour. So here is a presentation on how to fulfill the first Saturday devotion in just one hour. So the first thing, what is it? Well, we should probably know that before we're going to do it. So there was an apparition on December 10th, 1925. The Most Holy Virgin appeared to Sister Lucy. She was then a postulant of the Institute of the Dorothean Sisters at Ponte Verde, Spain. And by her side, by the Virgin Mary's side, there appeared elevated on a luminous cloud, the child Jesus. The Most Holy Virgin rested her hand on her shoulder and as she did so, she showed her heart encircled by thorns which she was holding in her one hand. At the same time, the child Jesus said, Have compassion on the heart of your most holy mother covered with thorns, with which ungrateful men pierce it at every moment, and there is none to make an act of reparation to remove them. So the first Saturday devotion stems from a devotion to make reparation for sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Now, what are the requests? Well, there were specific requests that were actually given uh, at the time of the apparition. And basics, and, and basics what they are is to receive and confess, so receive Holy Communion and confess your sins on five consecutive first Saturdays. On the same day, you're supposed to pray five decades of the rosary. You're supposed to meditate, this is separate from praying the rosary, on uh, the rosary mysteries for 15 minutes. And you're supposed to intend to make reparation for offenses against the Blessed Virgin Mary. And this actually comes from Our Lady. She, she's quoted by Sister Lucia saying, Then the Most Holy Virgin said, Look, my daughter, at my heart, surrounded with thorns, with which ungrateful men pierce me at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. You at least try to console me and announce in my name that I promise to assist at the moment of death with all the graces necessary for salvation. All of those who, on the first Saturday, go to Holy Communion five times in a row, also confess their sins, um, recite five decades of the rosary, and Our Lady used the terms, keep me company for 15 minutes while meditating on the 15 mysteries of the rosary. It's a nice way to think about it, keep me company. And again, with the intention of making reparation. I'll have a link in the description to the specific texts of these things, um, so you can look them up for yourselves. Okay, why do it? <laughs> Well, I mean, we should want to do this because Our Lady told us to do something. We should probably do that. <laughs> um, but there's actually three amazing promises. Number one, uh, the salvation of your soul. Number two, the salvation of sinners. That includes myself. I don't know about you, so that's nice. And number three, for peace in the world. And uh, uh, this is actually text from Our Lady's promises. She says, to all those who on the first Saturday of five consecutive months fulfill all the conditions requested, I promise to assist them at the hour of death with all the graces necessary for the salvation of their soul. This little devotion practice with a good heart is then enough to procure infallibly for us, infallibly, uh, as with sacraments, the sacraments, the grace of final perseverance of eternal salvation. And this promise is without any exclusion, limitation, or restriction to all who do this, I promise heaven for eternity for five holy communions. Essentially, um, <laughs> do this and you have an incredible promise. Um, and she also went on to say, um, Our Lady did that, uh, so numerous are the souls which the justice of God condemns for sins committed against me that I come to ask reparation. Sacrifice yourself for this intention and pray. And that's what our, sis our, our Lady said to Sister Lucy in 1929. And then Sister Lucy, a little bit later on, in 1930, she said, In consideration of this little devotion, they, Jesus and Mary, wish to give 
the grace of pardon to souls who have had the misfortune of offending the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So there's more evidence that it's for not just the salvation of your own soul, but making reparation for others. And um, Sister Lucy wrote in 1939, whether the world has war or peace depends on the practice of this devotion, along with the consecration of Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Pretty clear. So, why do it? Three amazing promises, salvation of your soul, salvation uh, for sinners, and peace in the world. Okay, now, that's all great, but you're thinking to yourself, I have to go to Mass. I also have to find, I mean, praying the rosary, okay, that's not hard to find time to do, but now I also have to find time to meditate. I'm not the greatest at meditating, me neither. Um, I also have to have, find time to go to confession. And um, I've got to do this all on one single day. It's actually not that hard. I have four, soon to be five little children. We don't get a lot of quiet time, but here's how you can do it in one hour. So, simply put, you can do the devotion during Mass. Now, I know in this age that we live in, we've been told that we have to do this sort of active participation in Mass. Well, Our Lady appeared in the 1920s and 30s, uh, or 1920s and well, earlier than that with the Fatima apparitions to Sister Lucy. This talk of active participation wasn't really a thing then, uh, so we can just do it in that spirit. So if you go to a traditional Mass, you understand this, but even if you can't go to a traditional Mass and you still want to uh, do these devotions, there's no church law that says you have to uh, say all the responses and do all the things. You can use Mass as a time for prayerful meditation, and it applies to this as well. So if you can, go to confession just before or after Mass. Even if you don't have an official first Saturday Mass at your parish, um, just ask your priest ahead of time. He should be available. Also, it should be noted, like with many devotions, you can actually do your confession within eight days at either side. So let's say you have, you know, the only time to go to confession is once a week on Wednesdays at your parish or something. Go to confession on Wednesday before or after the Holy Communion uh, as part of your first Saturday devotion. If you are fortunate uh, enough to have multiple priests during Mass, one in the confessional, then you can, of course, do that then. So you can pray the rosary during your Mass. Technically, the requests are to recite five decades. Um, so you can actually just say five decades with technically without saying the beginning and ending of the rosary. I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying that's something that you can do. It takes like, what, 12 minutes, you know? Um, also, you can read and pray meditative, meditatively on the mysteries of the rosary while Mass is being said. You know, uh, often, you know, if you look in traditional missals, it's of course full of the Mass, but it's also full of lots of prayers to be said during Mass. This is just a prayerful time. You're at Mass, open up your meditations on the Holy Rosary, and you can pray and meditate on those. And what you do is essentially, you know, you read meditatively. So you read something, it strikes you, you contemplate it for a little bit, and you read some more, 15 minutes. And uh, then, of course, when you receive Holy Communion, do it in the spirit of reparation and offer your Holy Communion to prepare sins against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. There you go. You have done your whole devotion within the time of one Mass. To be honest, if you went to a low Mass, it was about 40, 45 minutes, you could probably do it within 45 minutes. So um, there are some more helpful resources that are in the description of this video that can help you do this devotion as well. I've actually put together uh, with my team at my channel, we've put together an audio video rosary series for the mysteries of the rosary. Um, of course, don't listen to things during mass, but if you were driving to mass or walking to mass or taking the subway or something, and you thought, you know what, I've got some quiet, I'm walking through a park or something like that, I wanna meditate on these things. You could play a recording of the rosary uh, with all the mysteries in there and you could use it to meditate. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that as well. Um, you could even do that in your house if you wanted to, if you like listening to audio things. Uh, I've also included a link from John Henry Weston from LifeSite News. He's the co-founder of LifeSite News. He shared, he's a very pious man, and he shared a copy of what he uses to meditate. Absolutely beautiful uh, writings. I don't know where they're from, but he shared it. Um, and uh, that, that link is in the description. Uh, he actually reads them out, so you could listen to him say them if you wanted to. Um, but you can also just print the text, you could copy and paste, you could put it on your phone, stick it in your missile, whatever. You can bring it with you, that's a free resource, so thanks to John Henry for that. Okay, that's all, it's that simple. I hope that helps. Um, please check out my YouTube channel, The Kennedy Report, uh, for more things to help you grow in your faith, and for interesting commentary, I think it's interesting, 
on world and church affairs. And um, that's all. So cheers. And please go to First Saturday. Whether you think the Pope uh, fulfilled the requests of Our Lady of Fatima, you should be at First Saturday no matter what. If you believe that the consecration is done, we, uh, we, we heard in this presentation here that part of the Fatima paradigm is for Saturday devotion. So triumph is coming. We should all be at Mass. If the triumph is, if the consecration is yet to be done, we should all be at Mass. So that's something we can unite on. Again, thank you for watching and I hope that was helpful.